All right, students, in this tutorial today, we're going to create the desk lamp arm. If you have not already created um, a sketch and created your hole for the arm, the first thing you're going to want to do is select Create Sketch and pick the top surface of your lamp base. Zoom out, select the circle tool, and place a circle of a diameter 20. If you don't have a 20 diameter, you can select the diameter tool or sketch dimension tool, select the outer edge, click to place, and make it 20. If it's not 20, you can click escape on your keyboard and double click on the number and change that to whatever size you need. Next up, add a dimension between the center of the circle and the origin, which is this little symbol here, and move your mouse down and click to place. That should be 85. To ensure they're in line, select the horizontal vertical, click on the center of your circle and your origin, and they will now be in line sideways together. When you're complete with this, select Finish Sketch. On the top right corner of your screen, select the Home button, select Extrude, select the circle you've just created, we want to cut through, down, so drag it down and type in negative 20. Ensure on the right hand side, if this menu is not visible, you open up this menu, it's set to cut. Click OK, you now have a hole. Alright, you might be now at the stage where you are in class, face to face. What we want to do now is drop down the sketches menu. We want to turn on sketch 2. And what we want to do here is we want to create a new sketch. And this time you can see the different faces here. I want to rotate my view cube here by selecting the front view and select this work plane here that's in blue. Now you'll see it says front and I've got sketch tools. What we want to do now is we want to go to the create menu, select project include in the project um, tool. So we can, yeah, let's try project tool. Click on the home button, zoom into the circle, and make sure you select the upper rim of the circle so you get this red line. Then click OK, and now you've got a blue line here. Click back on the right hand side at the top on the front view. You can see now we've got a dot there. We're going to click the line tool. I'm going to select the center between these two purple dots, which gets you a X. We're going to go up to click in place. Hit escape to stop making the line. Select dimension. Click on the line. And this one should be a dimension of 25. Zoom out a little bit. Move your screen down by holding the mouse wheel down and moving your hand. Okay, next up we want to select the line tool. Select the end of the line we just made and move your mouse up and to the left to make an angle. The angle, make sure you make an angle that's kind of close to maybe about 250 millimeters in length, but don't type in the size. Click to place and click escape. Next up, zoom out a little further. You're going to click the line tool again, and we're going to make an arc. To make an arc, select the end of the line once, then go back and click and hold your finger down, and it creates a curve. Wherever you choose to let go of your mouse or the left glow of your finger, it will then make an arc. So something like this is fine. And then we're going to zoom out a little further and we're going to move our mouse up and click to place the line again. Hit escape to finish making the line. Let's use the dimension tool now and let's give the arc here a dimension. So click on the arc, move your mouse out of 70. We're going to click the dot at the top and 
the blue line at the base of your work. And we're going to give that one a size of 650. We're going to select the angled line at the bottom and the line at the base, the blue line at the base, and move our mouse to the left. Click in place, and that's going to be 82. We're going to select the dot in the center of our arc here in the base and move up. Click in place, that will be 320. Next up, we're going to select this line here and our other angled line, and we're going to give that one, we're going to click in place, a 130 degree dimension. Now you have created basically the arm of our work. Zoom in to the bottom. We're going to make a smooth curve in there. So we're going to select the fillet tool. We're going to click the first line, the straight line, and the angled line. We're going to type in a size of 25 and hit enter. So we've applied a small curve in there. You can kind of see the curve. Okay. Once that's complete, you click the Finish Sketch, click the Home button. Next up, we're going to collect, uh, click Create, Sweep. On the menu on the right, if you can't see it, you might have to open up this menu. For the profile, we're going to zoom in. We want to select the circle here. Now, if you cannot see that circle or it doesn't go blue, Underneath sketches, drop down that arrow and make sure you turn on the eyeball to this sketch here, which probably is sketch two on your work. Zoom out, click on the path select menu button, select the path you've just made and click OK. So now you've just created the arm for your desk lamp. Click the save menu give it a name, we might call it Desk Lamp Arm Created and Save. That's the end of the tutorial.